Hi guys. Um, so today I wanted to show you exactly uh, how the SMTP server works and the main portions of the SMTP server. So let's talk about the toolbar and how the program itself works. So first of all, let's discuss the toolbar. Uh, now, when we talk about the toolbar, um, we have a few, uh, quite a few options. So first of all, obviously, Anytime you change something, anytime you change the um, whatever parameters, you you can just you know take it and uh, save it, right? That's a save. Now, if you don't want to apply the parameters, you can undo it. Obviously, just click undo. So if you change something, and uh, you can just click shift and undo uh, here. Now. This undo is displayed gray now, but um, it will be displayed active once you start changing something, right? like you see here. Right? So you undo and it comes back to, to the way it was before. You can obviously stop the server from here and you can restart the server. If you stop the server, the start server becomes active and you can restart it. Now, if you're not um, an English native speaker, you have a few languages here you can choose from. And if you change it, then it, the interface uh, becomes uh, a little bit uh, unknown to me, for example. I don't know Chinese, but somebody who knows Chinese will be able to read it. Now, uh, the support button allows you to uh, send a support ticket to us, to me. And what will happen is when you press support, right? you type your name, your email, and so on. Let's say uh, right, I type my uh, email. And you type the message, description, what happens. But what will happen in, on my end, uh, the program will send the log file, will attach the log file, will attach your configuration settings, right? And your message description that you just wrote here and will send everything to me. This way I will receive it and I'll get the log file, the configuration, and I'll, it's going to be much easier to, for me to reproduce your uh, your problem, if you have a problem, it's because I will see what's happening in the log, I'll see what's happening uh, with your configuration, and I'll be able to much easier uh, replicate your problem. Now, uh, another item you have is uh, auto configure. Auto configure tries to um, anticipate basically your configuration. It tries to uh, configure your server for the first time, for the first use. And obviously the help file uh, will allow you to do like help, home page, and check for updates and uh, about page. You can see the version, you can see the key and so on. Now, um, the home page here um, is uh, going to lead you to the website uh, where you bought it from. Now, also on this page, the, the the server itself is uh, split into different uh, sections. Now, each section you can uh, navigate to by clicking here, right? Now, what I should mention is this interface is just the, just the interface itself. This is just a GUI. This interface does not have to run in order for the server to respond to your email and uh, get your messages. What happens is when you install it, install a few pieces. I'll show you where they are. Now, if you click on uh, show all processes, you can see um, SMTP listener and SMTP server GUI. The GUI part is this, right? This is the GUI. And the listener is the server itself. It always runs as a service. You can see that, um, you see it's a system, right? The user is system. Right? And this guy, this guy, you can just close it. If you close it, nothing will happen. It's still going to uh, receive your messages. It's still going to forward your messages. It's still going to work just fine. Right? All you need for this to work is this guy, the SMTP listener. If you have this running, the whole system will be working. The user interface is just the user interface. It's just needed for manipulation of the configuration files. And you can close it after you're done with it. 
right? So because I get a lot of questions of uh, of the nature of like, can I, how can I make this program run um, on startup automatically? You don't, you don't need to, you don't have to. It's running already. Even if you're not logged in, it's still running. So that's uh, that's all about this part. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you each piece individually.